All right, guys, so here's the review of the Phoebus Leviathan. So this is my first Phoebus. I've not actually tried them out before, but I've heard good things, as you probably have as well. So I thought I'd get one in on the channel, check it out, see what the fuss is all about, see if it lives up to the good reputation, basically. So full disclosure, I was sent this watch for free, but you know the score. That's not going to change the way I do my reviews. I'm going to keep it 100% honest all the time, no matter what. Even if that means they don't send me another watch. But anyway... So I've been trying it out for a while, and let's say it lives up to the name. But the question is, is it any good? Let's get down to it and find out. So here it is. Comes in a pretty nice canvas box with the Phoebus branding on top. And then we've got the buckle to undo it. Quickly talk about the little bits and pieces that come with it. So you've got a two-year international warranty, which is quite good. Always better than having the one. Then we've got this free 30-day return if you're not happy with it. Which is a nice thing to have as well. Then if you do have any issues, you've got your repair application. And then we've got the instruction manual. But we're not really interested in all that. Just pop this to one side. So here's the watch itself. And it definitely lives up to the name Leviathan. Because it is an absolute beast. So there's a lot of mythical sea creatures going on here. With the Phoebus, the Kraken. And now we've got the Leviathan, which is the name of this piece. So quickly zoom in on the dial actually, show you that first. So we've got that Phoebus octopus cracking at the top. I know it's pretty divisive, but I actually quite like it. And then we've got the three stars just below that. But no actual text, which is the way I like it. I prefer it when brands just have the logo. Don't think you need the logo and the text. And at the bottom we've got automatic and it is actually 500 meter water resistance this one. So it's at least making use of that heft. So we've got a nice frame around that date window at three o'clock. Matching the indices in the silver. And then it's all really nicely finished as well. The hands Really nicely done, no issues with them at all. Really crisp, really clean. Nice proportions to them as well. Pretty much spot on. Nice little tip, red tip on the second hand, matching the automatic text. So it just helps bring that together. And then we've got applied indices, which are actually quite high, quite tall. And they're filled with loom as well. So we'll be checking out the loom shot in a bit. You can probably also see now we've got a really nice chamfer on that crystal. Which does add a little bit of interest. Do you quite like that? But otherwise it is a completely flat crystal. And then with that crystal we have actually got some AR coating on the underneath. So quickly zoom back out and then we'll talk about the rest of the watch a bit more. So let's talk about this bezel. So it's a ceramic bezel, 120 click, and it is actually fully loomed as well. But we'll get onto that in a bit. Rock solid, no playing that at all. And it is a really nice action as well. And lines up perfectly so no issues there one slightly odd thing is that you can see there's gaps in between so it's not got grip all the way around so sometimes depending on where you're grabbing it you might slip slightly so just make sure you grab it on these bits and not in between but other than that not really a big deal just something to mention so it's a fully brushed case and bezel as well but it is really nicely finished and then you can see we've got that helium escape valve on there because it is 500 meter water resistance. So it definitely needs that. And again, we've got the logo on the crown, which is nicely done. And it's got some pretty chunky crown guards on that, but it's still really easy to operate. So if I zoom back out, let's talk about that. So we've got screw down crown, obviously, with it being 500 meters. And it is actually slightly tapered that crown, 
which is a nice little detail. Then obviously pull it out once, change the date, pull it out again, second hand stops, go hacking, because it's an NH35 in this. And then we can change the time, and then pop it back in, second hand re-engages. So talking about the rest of this case, you can see it is a really interesting case. Yeah, it's really chunky, pretty angular as well. It's definitely not a subtle watch. But I think it does actually look quite good. But we'll get onto the measurements now, so we can see what we're dealing with. So we've got a diameter of 45mm, which is pretty chunky. Combined with a thickness of 15.1, lug width of 22. Now with the lug to lug, it's coming in at 54. But with the shape of the case, it doesn't really wear like a 54. In fact, I'll quickly measure underneath, see if I can show you more what it's like. Yeah, so if I take it from underneath, it's more like a 51. If that makes sense, with the way it curves down on those lugs. But I'll show you in a bit what it's like on wrist. Let's quickly talk about this strap. So, I've not actually had a rubber strap like this one before with these big holes. I wasn't really sure if I was going to like it at first, but with the weather we had where it was quite hot, it's actually been quite nice, really breathable. It's really soft as well, supple. And it is actually quick release if you do want to swap it out. And it's got some chunky hardware on the end as well to go with the rest of the watch. And then that's branded with the Phoebus. And then it is really nicely finished. Again, fully brushed. When it comes to the keepers, we've got one fixed one. Which is just held in there. And then the other one's a floating one. And then quickly show you that case back. Again that Phoebus Kraken Octopus on the back and that's embossed as well so again really nicely finished and then there's a screw down case back so we've got the water resistant 500 meter sapphire crystal Phoebus automatic so now let's test whether it is actually sapphire crystal The trusty diamond selector too so i just want to quickly say a few people have been saying that the watches i'm testing don't actually have sapphire crystal they're just sapphire coated mineral crystal that's not the case that's probably because i'm starting this on a level one i think technically you're supposed to start it on a level four and then it will go up into like the red of like seven and eight whereas when i'm starting it on the one it's going up to like a five or six which is more of the yellow orange color but basically the way you want to be judging it, you want to be judging it by how much it's going up, not what number it's going up to necessarily. So obviously, the more it goes up, the more likely it is to be sapphire. If it's only going up slightly, it's more likely to be mineral. But, just thought I'd quickly mention that. So with this one, again, it's going up to the orange, so I'm saying that's sapphire crystal. Just to quickly show you, if I do bump it up, to a four and then do it again now it's going up into the red so i think that's what's confusing a lot of people so just thought i'd quickly clear that up in this video but now that's out of the way let's get on to the loom on this so you can see we've got quite a bit of loom there already but let's charge it up as always give it a fair chance keep it consistent And there we go. So, really nice loom on this. So, you could probably tell it's BGW9 with that blue hue. And they've actually got 15 layers of uh, loom on this, or BGW9. So, it is really, really good. I'd heard good things about Phoebus and the loom. And this doesn't disappoint at all. Really, really good. Do really like it. If I had one slight critique, if I was going to be really nitpicky, Perhaps the hands and the indices could have been slightly wider, given the size of the watch. Then you could have had a bit more loom. But 
it still lasts. You're not going to worry about it at all. Really, really nice, really good loom. So all that's left to do now is show you what it's like on wrist. So this is what it looks like on my seven inch wrist. And it does actually wear better than I was expecting, to be honest. When I first took it out of the box, I thought it was going to be far too big for me. But I think it's just about all right for my seven inch wrist. If you've got a smaller than seven inch wrist, definitely not for you, this one. If you're a bigger guy with bigger wrists, obviously, this is probably going to be right up your alley. But with that curvature to these lugs, it does wear slightly smaller than you'd think. Which is why I tried to show you the measurement from underneath, as opposed to just over the top of the lugs. Because I think it does wear more like a 51 than it does the larger 54. And I do quite like all the angles on it, the way it catches the light. Just plays with it a bit. It's definitely something different. And I've actually been pleasantly surprised with this strap as well. It's actually quite comfortable. And it is really breathable, obviously, with those holes. But you can always change it out pretty easily. They're being quick release, dead easy to do. And then, if you want to take a dive in, it's ideal. The helium escape valve, 500 meter water resistance, sapphire crystal, really good loom. It's a really great watch. So if you're interested in picking one up, links are down in the description as always. But that's it for this one guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.